Hello, I'm the Budget Mudder and this is episode 11 of my Wingnut Wing Sop with Dolphin Build. Today, I'm going to start off with drilling a few holes on the tailplane. Doesn't take long. Adjusting the undercarriage slightly and then I'm going to start on closing up the office. So, let's wind up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. Now the office. I used to try and stick the two halves together at once and always found I had trouble with fit. Then somebody suggested to me doing it bit by bit. What a godsend that was. Okay, it takes a little bit longer, but you don't have to get a better fit. What's more important, speed or fit? I know where I am with this one. Anyway, I'm waffling again, so let's crack on and seal up this office. There's the front underside glued. I'll pop that to one side while it dries. Now, let's get the top wing off, cleaned up and ready for priming. Sorry about the rumble in the audio. My desk was touching my PC and it vibrated through. Anyway, all clear now. Whilst removing the upper surfaces from the sprue, I decided to take a big chunk of sprue with it. Not something I would normally do as I'd try and get in nice and close. Anyway, I took it back to the part and then sanded it flush. Don't know why I did it that time, just trying something new probably. Right, that's the upper wings ready for priming. Now to crack on with closing the rest of the orifice. And I can tell you, I had a bit of a fight with keeping the rigging lines out. Anyway, here we go.
there we have it, all buttoned up. So let's pop that to one side, let it dry. While that's drying, we're going to crack on with prepping the top engine cover. And there we have the top engine cover all done. Oh, I just got delivery and it's time for me to be sidetracked. Look what I bought from Copper State Models. Wow. Oh, looks like I'm building the figure then. Sidetracked once more. Yeah, then I realised I should be doing the top cover. More of the figure later. Oh, it's so nice. There's the engine cover done. A quick test fit. Put it back on the table. And back to the figure. You know I couldn't keep away from it. He really has got a bit of a naff pose, hasn't he? Ah, oh, well, he was an officer in the early 1900s, and all that malarkey in the public schools, you know what I mean. Okay, now it's time to check out the orifice to see how it's gone. Hmm, looking good. Not too many touch-ups to do. Oi, quiet in the cheap seats. So, let's give this a bit of a sound and see where we are. Those two seams are looking nice, so let's crack on and glue the top seam now. While that's on one side drying, I'm going to go around the lower section of the orifice and taking off as much paint to the mating surfaces as possible. The reason I'm doing this is wing nut wings kits have such tight tolerances that a layer of paint can knock them out of sync. I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm going to say it again because it's well worth adhering to. Anyway, let's crack on with that.
there's that done so we'll just pop that to one side now time to get back to the figure Woohoo! Right, that's a figure all put together. To put it together, I use super glue and accelerator. The accelerator just to help to speed the setting of the super glue up. Now, let's have a look at this orifice, see how it's gone together. So, that seems to have gone together very, very nicely. Now, let's get rid of some of the paint. There's that done. All the paint's removed from the mating surfaces. So this seems like a good place to end episode 11. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow. Get the message out there to as many models as possible, please. Like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep modeling.